Okay, so today we are going to uh, I'm going to show you how to achieve um, several tasks, and we will uh, go from easy tasks to tasks to more complicated ones. And uh, also today's uh, release of five uh, Xcard five point oh fifteen. Uh, which will come with um, two extra modules, especially for developers. Uh, these modules are Webmaster Kit uh, and uh, Custom Skin. And today I'm going to show you uh, what uh, these models do and how you can use them for your convenience in developer uh, in development process. So in the first task. Uh, to show you about design changes in Xcard 5 is I'll uh, show how to hide power by label in Xcard 5. This is a label in the bottom of Xcard. Uh, this, this, this is the label. And uh, although we are not really happy when uh, merchants uh, uh, do remove uh, this uh, label, uh, okay, uh, guys, I'm sorry, uh, I just need to uh, enable Xusha to, uh, to the webinar. Um, I'll just, it just give me a second. Okay, Xenia is here. And I believe, make participants. Oh. I'll just create it. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Just, just a second. Uh, okay. So I'm making for presenter. And uh, okay. Now I think we are. We are done with technical things. So, um, okay, getting back to the powered by label. Um, this is the label in here, and uh, yes, uh, we are not really happy when uh, merchants uh, do remove uh, this label. However, uh, merchants uh, tell that uh, they do not want to let competitor know about what platform they are using, uh, that's why uh, they usually want to remove it. Uh, and the simplest way to remove, remove this uh, label is uh, just to go to the system settings, look and feel, custom CSS uh, section, um, and uh, uh, Define the CSS rule in order to hide this section. Uh, or I'm here that senior is senior gets back to the webinar. Um, okay, and uh, so when you are applying this CSS rule, uh, this label will be hidden. Like this. However, uh, sometimes you do want to create an external uh, CSS in your module, um, and uh, do not, because uh, when you are shipping a module, you uh, you cannot uh, put it in, in here, and uh, you need to register the CSS file in your model. And I'll show you how you can achieve it. It's very easy. You are uh, I will uh, as an example module. I will be using. Um, model custom skin, but um, doesn't really matter what model you are going to use. So I'm going to custom skin uh, model, creating a new folder view, and uh, oops, just going there. and. Uh, I'm creating a view PHP. Uh, a view PHP, a view class is a basic uh, class for any viewer. Uh, and in this, uh, 
in this uh, uh, in this class we are putting the the following code. So what it does, it simply calls uh, get CSS files uh, method, which which is responsible for registering CSS files, and we are adding one more uh, CSS file into this list. It will mean uh, that the, this CSS file will be available in the uh, in every in every single page. Of course, we need to create these files. That's why we are going to the Skins folder default and modules new folder custom skin uh, uh, new folder CSS and we are creating a new file there CSS CSS uh, with the is the same content. Um, and uh, now we need to, to rebuild cache. Uh, while the cache is being rebuilt, I'll tell you our plans about annoying cache rebuilding. So it's not uh, next is C. So I'm deleting the old cache, and now, and so it will be re rebuilt, and we'll see the results. Okay, while the cache is being rebuilt, um, we talked with our guys after the first webinar and uh, receiving a lot of complaints about wasting time during uh, cache rebuilding. So we decided to create a special macro for uh, in our SDK, uh, which will allow to partially rebuild the cache. It will be uh, much much faster, which uh, regular cache rebuild, but it may not um, if you are applying some complex changes, uh, like changing decorate, decorating process. Um, it may not work, but still, it will uh, help you um, save a lot of time uh, in, instead of fully re uh, rebuild cache. Uh, after that, uh, we expect to test this macro and tell us uh, which, what is good and what uh, can, uh, can be improved in this macro. So eventually, we will uh, have some working functionality, and probably in the in the third future, we will. Uh, I believe we will be able to test this macro within um, several months. Uh, uh, and uh, after that, uh, you uh, you will be able. Um, so you will tell us what we can improve, and once we are okay with this uh, kind of development cache rebuilding process. Uh, we will probably commit it into the core. Okay, so we are, we have rebuilt the cache, and um, now I'm disabling using custom CSS, uh, and I'm just reloading the page. And uh, this label should not should, shouldn't be working. And if we check the HTML code for CSS, CSS. You can see that our CSS in the module is included there. Um, also, guys, I just uh, forgot uh, to mention uh, that while I'm uh, while I'm uh, talking about design changes, you can send us um, uh, questions at alliance at skirt at skirt dot com. And once uh, we are finished with the webinar, I believe it will be like this. We are done with the webinar. Uh, I'll try to answer several questions you send us at alliance.xcard.com. So uh, we are looking to your questions at this address. Um, so uh, getting back to the module, um, as you can see, our CSS is here, and if we change it a little bit, 
uh, for instance, um, displaying none, but we don't want the font size size this fixed. Uh, so we can we can apply it, and um, of course we don't need this. Uh, this one. So and reload the page. Okay, it works, right? Um, and now, however, uh, both of these approaches uh, uh, have a drawback because actually you are leaving powered by Xcard five right in the HTML code, and in case you uh, want something more sophisticated, want to uh, remove it completely, uh, you can achieve it uh, via overriding templates. And here we are coming to the most interesting part of the webinar, uh, description of the model Webmaster Kit. Webmaster Kit model um, is kind of the same uh, thing as Webmaster model in uh, Xcard 4. You can easily find the required uh, template using this model, and um, it will it will be it will come in the Xcard 510. In the settings of the model, you are enabling profiler and uh, enabling uh, the option mark templates. Submit. Uh -huh. And uh, right after this, you are having a dashboard here. You can enable or disable tracking. So if you are hovering your pointer over some area, you will see something like something like this, like this. Uh, this is the list of templates used in order to display this section. And I'll show you how to use it. Uh, in order to hide. Uh, as you can see, uh, the master kit not only enables, enables uh, template tracing, it also enables a lot of uh, other useful information like benchmarking and logging of uh, SQL queries. Anyways, um, we are hovering all the, over sorry. So we are hovering over a certain area, and we can see uh, what uh, what templates is used in order to display it. So, for instance, uh, the powered by uh, label is defined by the default EN powered by TPL. And uh, what we what we need to do in order to to change uh, this template and do not break upgrades. Uh, because if you change uh, this template directly, uh, the, upgrade, uh, the next upgrade will overwrite this change. Uh, we create, uh, in order to help uh, with such tasks, we created the uh, model custom skin. Uh, the only thing custom skin model does, it just registers uh, the new skin uh, and uh, the templates works the same as in Xcard 4, which means if you are, uh, we have a default uh, skin, and uh, there is uh, an overriding template. So if you are overriding template in your own skin, the, the uh, uh, template in default skin uh, will not be used. However, if a uh, skin needs some uh, template, but it does not exist in uh, your custom skin, uh, then Xcard 5 will use uh, a, t a template from, uh, from default uh, Xcard. So we are, uh, first off, we are going to check this uh, template default uh, EN powered by TPL. Uh, for this, we are going, going here, powered, powered by TPL and the its called is pretty simple. What uh, 
the next step is to copy this uh, code and create uh, the template in our custom skin. Custom skin module create uh, uh, the folder custom skin in the uh, skins folder and uh, three subfolders there. Default folder is um, a folder for templates of customer area. So we are coming here, creating new file powered by TPL. You know, to power by TPL. In order to replace default powered by TPL and putting our code there. Uh, what we need to do is uh, remove powered by label. So we are removing it and saving the result. Uh, design changes does not require, do not require uh, cache rebuilding. So we are simply refreshing the page. And uh, you see this label is gone. The task is achieved. Uh, so that's it. Now I think you have an idea of uh, what uh, Webmaster, mod uh, Webmaster Kit uh, model, uh, model does and what custom skin module does. However, yeah, I'll show you a little more examples of using custom, custom skin module uh, in today. Uh, also, you can see how easy you can register a CSS file, which is usually a simple task. Okay, the next, next task is, which that was asked by Richard, is how you can wrap uh, the div with ID content of home page into div ID uh, home page. What it means? Uh, if you look at the code of the home page, you can see here uh, div ID content. Yes, this one. And as you can see, uh, oh, I've, I've got quirks. Sorry, guys. Hmm. What's this? Okay, never mind. Um, and this div ID content uh, defines the central area of home page. And uh, what we need to do is uh, to add div uh, ID home page uh, above div ID content. This is uh, you know, quite easy task in S card 4. Uh, and you can easily achieve it in X card uh, 5. So uh, first off, you can try to find it with uh, the master kit, but uh, it does not uh, show it. If you uh, hover over here, you will see something like uh, like this, and you see a lot of templates. You, you do not know what template exactly it, it uh, defines the section with div ID content. And the simplest uh, thing is uh, to uh, check the code and try to uh, search the templates for some key phrases. The key phrase here is uh, main content, because I saw uh, the link uh, element with a element with uh, ID content. So I'm searching, and I'm finding the single template, which we, uh, which is main center center TPL. Uh, what we can do? We can simply do exactly the same we did powered by templates. So we are we can copy the code, uh, and we know that this is. Uh, default and layout. It's not the core of default in EN. So we are coming to the default EN, creating new folder, um, new folder layout, and adding our new template here. Main center center TPL. Like this. 
and we of course we are adding uh, div div id uh, home page page around around this div id content we are refreshing the page and checking the HTML code. Mm. As you can see, uh, this div is here. However, this approach uh, has um, a slight problem. If uh, we decide to change this uh, main center center TPL, in some future releases, uh, and upgrade uh, not properly because uh, we will change uh, main center center TPL, and uh, but you are using the old code, so the proper proper solution here is uh, to uh, to include the content of already existing main, main center center TPL uh, into some of our newly created templates. What we can do uh, for such task? First, we are creating a new template. Um, like the, um, we can call it what, whatever we want. So main center custom, custom center, center TPL. And we are defining its content uh, and we are defining its content like this. Uh, okay, I'll we don't need this template anymore. So we are need to comp what what this template does. It simply uh, calls the template layout menu main center center TPL, and since it does not exist in our custom skin, it will be included from the default skin. And uh, then we are wrapping it into the div uh, ID homepage. Uh, but the interesting part here is that uh, the initial template uh, is included into the view list. If you remember, I explained it uh, in the first webinar uh, when uh, it, you can uh, assign several templates into view list uh, and uh, then uh, tell this item list uh, you must be displayed there. Uh, it will be like this digit uh, list list like this. Yeah, like this uh, and it will mean that all uh, templates in the viewers which is registered in this view list will be uh, displayed in this area according to their their weights um, so what, uh, since we are including our template uh, into some uh, into the our in, in, since we are uh, including the default template into newly created one, we must make sure that uh, this newly created uh, template is included into the same uh, view list. However. We do not need that the uh, default template uh, default template is included into this view list because it will be automatically called from uh, the newly created one. So we need to somehow exclude uh, the default template from the view list. And in order to accomplish it, we are going to the main PHP file of uh, custom skin module. It can be uh, main PHP of any other model, of your own model. It doesn't necessarily uh, needs to be from, uh, it, 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 it must not be only custom skin uh, model. And creating this module, uh, this method. 
this. Uh, this method simply calls that uh, you need to remove uh, layout in center of center TPL from any view lists. We are saving the results and uh, we should rebuild the cache uh, because uh, this method will be call, called right after the uh, cache is rebuilt. And you will see the results. Give me a second. So I will just need to make sure that we've done everything we have. So this this template uh, is unchanged because it's default one. This okay. This is okay. This yeah. I think we are we are done here. So and I'm doing the cache process. Uh, I'm rebuilding the cache. Okay. Uh, now I believe I can. Uh, um, Senia, can you hear me? Can you? Yes. Can, yes, yes okay. Tony. Can you hear me now? Yes, I'm. Oh, here you can Hi guys, <laughs> I'm no longer mute. <laughs> uh, Tony, um, we've got several questions. Have you seen them in the chat window? Uh, yeah, I saw them. I I see them. So. Here, uh, the question from Kerry, can we get a feature added to the master kit to IP restricted? Um, I believe we can. Um, I just need to make sure. Um, once, uh, I'm not, as I know, now the webmaster kit um, doesn't have the IP restriction feature. However, uh, I think this is uh, meaningful and uh, uh, we will probably can easy edit. So I'll just make a note and uh, we will discuss with uh, their team after the webinar is over. Uh, okay, so now we are getting back and uh, we are checking the HTML code. Uh, we can check it by home way. As you can see, uh, the new div is added because uh, in, this is not a result of uh, uh, of the of that previous um, template. Uh, uh, it was main center custom uh, main center center TPL in our custom skin. Uh, because it was deleted, uh, but the function, um, but essentially uh, the result is the same. Uh, however, now you you are sure, yeah, you are exactly sure that if we make a change to main center center TPL in the future releases, uh, these changes will be reflected in your mod. And uh, we are done with this part, uh, and we are coming to the third mod. Uh, for a little more, which we covered in the webinar. Uh, this is a question uh, again from Richard. Uh, how can I change the logo depending on the selected language? And uh, logo, logo image uh, should be defined as a language variable for easy, easy changes. Uh, this is quite straightforward um, because we have a webmaster kit module. And we are enabling it and uh, checking what template is uh, what what template defines header. Uh, it's default layout header logo. So we are checking what's this um, what's this uh, template layout layout uh, header header logo TPL. It's very easy. So, and uh, the next step is uh, to create the same template in our custom skin. Um, so, we have um, header logo on TPL with the same content. I'll just close the tops. Um, so we're defining it here and changing this uh, source for image tag. Um, 
if uh, you look uh, at the code, HTML code, you will find that um, the path to logger is uh, like this. Skins, skin default logger PNG. And we are putting it here. Mm. What it means? It means that uh, we, uh, instead of uh, calling function, we are, um, we explicitly call uh, this image and defining it as a language variable. When we are putting uh, call of T function uh, around some, um, some, some label, it will mean that this label can be translated. So we can save uh, this template, and uh, the result will be the same in, in custom area. So the logger will be the same. But uh, essentially, uh, we just uh, define that this, this string can be translated. So we are coming to the translations section. And uh, then we are going, so we, uh, in my example, I'll show, uh, I'll show you how to um, change a label for uh, Russian language. And adding new label. Label name is what, what must be translated. And the actual translation is what we need to substitute it with for Russian um, language. So I'm trying to find um, the picture. Um, I'm taking I'm taking the the URL and I'm defining it as a translation here. Now. Uh, all other languages will have log uh, exactly the same as the default value, but Russian language already have a translation for this value, and the custom uh, custom log must be displayed there after the page is loaded. And you see the result. So here you can see how easy you can uh, create uh, mm, how you how you create a language variables compared to XR4 where you needed to add it to the SQL file and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, the fourth uh, simple mod uh, I'm going to describe today is um, how you, can you replace the menu added by the simple CMS uh, module with your own menu. And this is the question by a uh, uh, the process is uh, exactly the same. You are enabling tracing and uh, trying to find what template defines the top menu area. And this is a top menu TPL. So now we are going to check what uh, this template does. Mm -hmm. Uh, top menu. Uh, it creates a UL element and then populates it with um, LI elements. Uh, and these uh, child elements are coming from get items method of. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, second. So we are checking uh, all the all this year. Uh, so Webmaster Kit not only shows you what um, template is used, but it also shows you uh, what viewer is uh, managing this template. So we are coming to the uh, slide view, view uh, menu customer top menu customer top and we are checking uh, get items uh, get items we do not have this method here it means that it's defined somewhere 
in the parents and uh, the exact uh, the first parent of um, top uh, class is a customer. So we are coming here and checking whether get items method is here, but it's not there. And we are coming to the parent of a uh, customer. So a customer is, is a menu. We are coming here. It's a uh, on get items. And as you can see, uh, this method uh, outputs uh, these items. And if these items uh, is empty, it simply calls define items method and uh, then does some stuff and then returns it. Uh, simple CMS module, uh, uh, it takes uh, top this class and decorates it. It means that uh, instead of calling uh, the default code, uh, the simple CMS is CMS introduces their own code and runs it. So, and if you check the code, uh, of the module, CF, simple CMS, simple CMS, viewer, view, menu, customer, primary menu, it extends like customer top. It uh, define your own defined items, which is not related on parent. It just takes everything from the database and out outputs it. Okay, so we found the uh, template, we found the viewer, and we uh, know that simple CMS uh, decorates this class. What we can do in order to change the appearance of uh, of the menu? We can take the top uh, top menu TPL and uh, define completely uh, our, our own code there. This is the core solution, which is, but it's not really good because uh, it means that if we apply any changes to simple CMS or get items method, we uh, are not reflected. The good way to change menu here is to def uh, decorate uh, the view, uh, view, view menu customer uh, top class and define your own version of defined items. And exactly the same, uh, the, exactly the same way simple CMS model works. And I'll show you how you can achieve it. Basically, this is not a design change, uh, but it's related to design. So uh, I'm going to the custom custom skin module. Um, and I need to define, um, I need to create a new your menu customer top. The path is exactly the same as in default. Menu customer. And we are creating a top PHP plus there with the following content. Content here. Uh, what uh, the model does, it simply uh, decorates uh, define items method and uh, it returns our own uh, items because we are calling get my items uh, method. However, you may think that uh, it's, um, we could put the same code right there, but this is not the case, uh, and I'll explain a little bit later why we need to uh, implement it via extra function. So if we rebuild cache right now, uh, it may work or may not. The reason for this is simple CMS uh, module 
extends, uh, decorates slide view menu customer top uh, object as well. So, and we do not know uh, what module will decorate last this, uh, this class. If uh, custom skin decorates uh, the mod last, everything will work okay because uh, it will be after a simple CMS uh, module changes. Uh, but there is an uh, option that simple CMS will be last. And in this case, our changes uh, will not longer work. How can we overcome this problem? Then we need to create one extra uh, class in order to make sure that uh, this class will be loaded right after simple CMS decoration process. So we are creating class top after simple CMS of PHP. Uh, its name can be whatever you want. It's not necessarily like this. With the following content. Uh, the most interesting part here is the uh, directive LC dependencies uh, uh, like this. This, uh, this flag means that this uh, class will only be uh, called if uh, simple CMS model uh, is in the system. If uh, the simple CMS model is not installed or is not active, this uh, class will never work. But if uh, simple CMS is there, then uh, we will change uh, the method of uh, simple CMS define items and define it like uh, return this get my items. Get my items uh, is this method. So, uh, there are two options. If simple CMS model uh, is in the system, then only this uh, method, uh, only this class will be loaded, uh, and uh, there is no problem. If simple CMS model is in the system, it means that this class will be loaded right after the simple CMS uh, class, and it will still uh, redefine define ID method. So, we are done here, and uh, we can rebuild the cache. And uh, the result of cache rebuilding, just a second, of cache rebuilding process will be is that menu will have uh, the single record uh, with label Google menu and it will uh, go to google.com. OK, I believe uh, I can. Uh, answer several questions. How about few custom skins? More than one. I'm not really getting this question. If it's related to custom skins, if you mean custom designs, uh, which implements a uh, new look of the store, uh, you should check our uh, marketplace. Expert. Tony? Yeah? Tony, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Elia has clarified his questions. Uh -huh. He means uh, how how he should uh, add several custom skins, but uh, have only one of them active in the store. I suppose that he should just create several modules for custom skins and enable the one that should be active. But please correct yes, me if right. I'm wrong. Yes, yes, uh, this is exactly the case. Um, uh, currently, Xcard 5 does not support if you enable several, uh, several uh, skin skin modules because it will uh, it will work here. Uh, we are going to apply a change where if you are creating uh, uh, if, if you are installing several skin modules, uh, then it will um, they will be populated into this section. I'll show you into. Uh, into this section, and then you will be able to choose from uh, skin modules yeah, in the admin area. Okay, uh, the cache rebuilding process is over, and the, as you can see, the Google menu uh, is the single item in the in our updated menu. Uh, so we are done with this uh, uh, with this change as well. Um,
After this, uh, we will have um, two more mods, the, which is uh, not really design changes, but they are rely related to showing or not showing uh, viewers and how to work with viewers. Uh, so, um, okay, let's let's start. Um, how to hide category block from home page and keep it on other pages. Pages. Uh, by this, I mean you see categories uh, section there. But if you go to I goods, you can see the same uh, see the same block here. And we were asked uh, about how to how can I uh, disable categories block uh, on on the home page, and it can be. Uh, Achieved really easy. Uh, for this, we need to decorate the viewer of, uh, of of this section. For this, we need to understand what viewer defines this section. We are using WebMaster, and we find that uh, X Light View Top Categories is the viewer which is responsible for displaying uh, this area. So we are uh, going to in our. Uh, in our model, we are going to decorate this year. We are creating top categories, categories, PHP script um, with the following content. And uh, it should do the trick. Uh, the interesting part here is that we are changing is visible method which is responsible for whether show or not uh, the this uh, this uh, menu box and defines uh, it should uh, it should be visible every time uh, she's visible now except target is equal main the target of the home page is uh, target equal main same so, if target equal main, then this block should not be displayed. If target anything else, then uh, this method, uh, this uh, section must be shown in case it, uh, in, in, in it should work uh, uh, exactly the same it, it, it used to work. So, we are done here and we build the cache. Okay, now I'm getting back to the questions. Um, Mike White, you said design changes do not need cache rebuilding. Is it because you have developed more term? Yes, uh, it works when a developer mode is on, etc. config. Ilya uh, got here. Uh, I mean, if, uh, okay, I believe I already asked. How to create new separate skin from scratch? From scratch. Um, the most important part in the each uh, uh, in each uh, skin module is that it defines this method get skins where you are uh, specifying what uh, uh, should contain the pin plates for uh, for your own skin. Then uh, you should populate. Uh, Populate these folders defined in the get skins uh, method with uh, uh, with templates. You want uh, so, for instance, if you want in your skin uh, uh, define a new version of welcome TPL, you are creating in these uh, in these folders your version of welcome TPL. In this case. Uh, the default welcome TPL is not included, but your own custom welcome TPL will be included. Uh, will, will be displayed. Okay, we are done uh, with the cache rebuilding. And as you can see, categories is not shown on home page. But if we go to uh, some uh, other category, uh, you see categories. So this change is done as well. And 
we are coming to the final little mod uh, related to design and uh, uh, one of our clients asked how can we change the default uh, behavior of product list and uh, allow to so uh, he said I, I need that uh, the default view of uh, product list uh, be list or table, not grid, uh, as it works now. How can I change it? And this change is really easy. I'll show you how to achieve it. Exact, again, it's not uh, related to design uh, because we are not even touching any template. However, uh, this is something related to design and uh, it's worth uh, showing you how you can achieve it. Um, so, uh, in this case, we are creating a new folder in our view folder of our model view, view folder at this product customer. Uh, with the following content. Uh, and the, the class itself is a uh, uh, customer HP. Uh, what we are doing here, if we look at items list of uh, view items list, the default one, uh, product Customer, a uh, customer, customer, uh, define, define widget for define widget params. You can see the default settings of the uh, product widget shown on the category pages. And as you can see, uh, display mode is display is uh, defined as display mode read. What we are doing, we are calling the parent, and then we are saying that uh, no, the default display mode must be uh, not grid, but it must be display mode table. So we are saving the uh, the file and rebuilding the cache. Um, actually. After the is being rebuilt, uh, has been rebuilt, uh, the we will not see the changes because uh, the option of how to split products is already saved in the session. So we will have to clear up uh, cookies in order to reset the session, and then in only when then we will see the results. Okay, now I'm going to. Uh, answer a little more questions. Now, the old in, in, the, in the old webmaster kit, the master feature was set using cookie, I think. So the admin who enabled the, it was the only one who saw it appear in the front end. Is the two in X card five? Um, I'll I need to give you a little more background about X card. Uh, the short answer is no. This is not the true in X card five. And the reason for this is that we had this webmaster kit is in an internal module in Xcard 5, uh, and it was used by us only. However, um, after the first webinar, we felt that uh, it's really hard for newcomers to find uh, the proper template, and we decided to share this uh, webmaster kit module as is. Um, so our recommendation is that you should use this uh, Remaster Kit model only on document uh, websites, uh, and it must not be enabled in on live websites. Um, so this is the first recommendation. I believe we can add the check for IP or check for whether the user is admin or not, and. Judging by these uh, criteria, uh, 
whether the, this, uh, this dashboard should be shown or not. Uh, I think this is a good suggestion and we will implement it uh, in the future. So, okay, the cache is done and uh, as I said, uh, nothing changed. So we need to clean cookies. And there we go. Uh, the default viewer is table. Okay, now I'm done with uh, all uh, uh, simple mode I was going to, um, to show you today. And uh, the next step is to go through your question, questions and ask them. Here, Saunders, uh, we found that if someone doesn't know what they are doing, then using the declarator, you can find that if someone doesn't know what they are doing, when using your someone else declarations. We haven't seen way out the fix that so on. So, so some, someone else's mod could overwrite our changes, for example. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, I'll just read it uh, clearly because uh, I just mumbled uh, to the nose. Uh, we found that if someone doesn't know what they are doing when using the iDecorator, you can overwrite someone else's decorations. We haven't seen uh, a way out, the way out can fix that true yet. So someone else's mod could overwrite our changes, for example. Um, yes. It's possible that the else will overwrite your functionality. Uh, however, I do not. Uh, this is the power of Xcard 5, where you can change absolutely everything. Uh, you can. Uh, this is the way it's, it's designed. Uh, on the other hand, I do believe that developers will. Uh, will know uh, that they are overriding someone else's functionality and they will care about it. If, uh, if it's not the case, it means that the developer uh, doesn't, uh, it's just, it, this developer uh, doesn't care about others. So it means that uh, their module uh, must be corrected and only then uh, it will be put into the marketplace. However, if you are uh, creating a mod for, uh, for uh, within the bounds of the custom project, you may want to override the functionality of others. So, in that sense, it will give you a powerful tool uh, to control your own code. Uh, Kerry Saunders, how is top menu loaded after simple CMS menu? An example of the custom mode menu building, the Google menu was called after the simple CMS was loaded. What determined the order? Uh, the order is, uh, is actually not determined. Uh, it may uh, sound uh, like awkward. But it's not determined. It may uh, usually uh, it determined by the uh, alphabetically, but it may be, may be different. Now we are considering um, adding weights to decoration to decorators, uh, which will uh, explicitly specify what uh, weight of the model. So if simple CMS um, he has weight uh, 200, and our mod uh, custom skin has weight uh, 300. Of course, uh, classes of top of uh, custom skin uh, module will come after simple CMS uh, classes. Now it's um, uh, this. You cannot you cannot know the order. That's why we are introducing the LT dependency flag, as uh, I showed here, in order to make sure that this class will be loaded after uh, after simple CMS. Um, uh, the next question, Tom Bradford. Question: Will Xcard 5 work uh, with PHP 
versions were prior to 5.3. No, the problem is that we are using doctrine uh, we have, uh, to work with uh, database, and doctrine uh, only supports uh, PHP 5.2. Uh, how can I remove weight from product view? Uh, oh, this is, I mean, no, you can, product view. You actually, I think it's like, uh, I'm not really sure. Do you mean uh, the, how can you remove the weight, the weight? From here, in this case, oh, I just logged off. And that's why uh, my, mm, okay, just a second. So uh, essentially, you should do exactly the same I show you in the first uh, third examples. You just need to understand what uh, template is responsible for showing weight and then uh, redefine your own template or redefine your own uh, viewer in order to not, uh, not return it. So, uh, I mean, you, I think, not, uh, okay, I'll, I'll show you in this. Okay, while I'm logging in, Yes, if I'm planning to create separate theme scheme with own product line, example, a parallel theme uh, with own data like short t-shirt, etc., also many labels, etc., with images, how can I part data uh, database in my theme module? Um, I'm not really sure uh, what, you, what you mean. Uh, parallel theme with... Like, um, do you mean that uh, in the demo of the of this theme, you should show uh, shirts in t-shirts? If I'm sorry, guys, uh, I just need to cough a bit. <coughs> okay, I'm back here. Uh, if you are going to create uh, is some some sample data uh, for the model exactly? Then you need to put it into the demo demo file. This is not actually uh, uh, this is not actually the design change and, and a little bit more complex than I can explain without uh, providing code. But essentially. If you uh, you will uh, you should check uh, X slide data YAML uh, file slide demo YAML file. I'm sorry. Here you know slide demo YAML. And you can see uh, all the data about products is here. So in the install YAML, you can create the records like this. This is all pro demo products which come uh, with default package. And define your own products there. And once the, your uh, theme is installed, these, uh, these data will be included into the, into the database right after the model is installed. Uh, okay, we are done with uh, questions in the Skype, uh, and I promise to. Sh okay, yeah. Now I'm having the. So we can check what page tabs. We are checking with webmaster yet. So we know that page tabs is the default uh, that defines uh, uh, this section. Then we need to go to the Steam plate, uh, understand what it does. 
we can go through the details for this one, this the whole page. Uh, understand what it does, and then exclude the uh, calling. Oh, this one even. But it's, you still need to go to something like this, and then exclude the display of weight uh, parameter there uh, by overriding template or by overriding uh, viewer. Uh, okay, so we are done here. And if uh, Kenya, do we have any more questions? Yes, Tony, just a, a second. Darren Abata has just asked a question and I am trying to find out the details. But this is what she has already sent. Okay. You know, a different yes. color for one product means possible switching between them. I have, for example, uh, yes, you can uh, define product attributes uh, for, your, uh, for your product and uh, switch between them, uh, as it's shown uh, somewhere here. Let me show you. Um, they are all. They are all. They are all, uh, and you can uh, change size there. But essentially, color is exactly the same. Because uh, this is the same product attributes, and you can instead of sizes, you can define colors. And by clicking, uh, if it comes to changing uh, image, uh, now we do not have that attributes uh, have uh, assigned product image. Uh, this is a totally good feature, and it will uh, be released soon. Maybe it will be released uh, as a third-party module, uh, but still, uh, this is a, uh, at least now we do not have it. Do not have it, but we will definitely include it in the future release. I was going to ask why it's very good. Is the skin or right not easily upgraded? Uh, actually, no, because I'm. If you, um, Jerry Roberts, I was going to ask why X card 5 is better than X card 4 if the skin override uh, is not uh, easily upgraded. Isn't this exactly uh, what version 4 is? The thing is that if you are uh, defining uh, your own uh, skin, the override, uh, override default template. As I saw, as I show here, where vision template. Okay, yeah, Kenya. Uh, there was some problem with the sound, but now you are back. It's okay. Uh, Sorry for uh, Okay, okay. Uh, so if you are calling default templates like this, you will make sure that uh, it will not upgrade. Okay, so I believe. Everything is answered. Uh, you can still uh, send us questions at elias.xcard.com and uh, I'll try to answer them uh, after the webinar. However, I have got a, an announcement uh, because I will have a vacation since tomorrow and I will not be able to reply to you uh, before 23rd of April. Uh, at that time, uh, we will prepare a doc as we did for the first webinar. You can find it here. And uh, once I'm once I get back to work, you can find it here. Uh, it's in the knowledge base ab at xcar uh, xcar.com webinars first webinar first webinar. Uh, we will prepare the same doc where, where we uh, write down the answers to questions. And uh, uh, after that, uh, besides preparing such doc, I will be able to answer uh, your questions. Mike, is how to add the to what? Ah, okay, Richard, thank you. Thank you so much for answering. Uh, this is exactly what I mean. 
uh, this is a reply to Jeremy. Okay, thank you guys for joining us today. I really appreciate that you find some time uh, uh, to participate. I really appreciate and I would really love to get your feedback about webinars, about what you want to hear more about. Uh, also, I'm going to focus on um, uh, development docs. Uh, I discussed it with uh, Max uh, Wizrin. And, uh, and we, uh, so in the upcoming several months, I will be uh, preparing developer docs, developing documentation, and I will share, you, uh, share it with the, you on forums. Um, so this way, I'll get back your feedback as well. But still, if you uh, got the feedback about this webinar in particular, please send us uh, your emails at lrs.xcard.com. Tinia? Yes, Tony, thank you so much for a good job. Uh, I would like to address our attendees. First of all, thank you for finding the time. Uh, I would also like to hear your suggestions about the upcoming webinars. So, if there are any particular topics you would like Tony to speak about, please send them to us. Uh, the email is already known to you. It's alliance at x-card.com. So email not only your questions, but the ideas of, up, of the upcoming webinars as well. Thank you for your time. I, have not see, I, ha I cannot see any more questions. So it looks like we are done for today. Have a good day. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.